Hello, it's Jimmy Ardell O'Reilly. I'm looking at a Land Rover Discovery Sport. All right, so this vehicle, he's got a, another common issue with it. Um, didn't know the full story till he's got here, but just told me he's had the EGR valves replaced um, and he's still got an EGR valve code. So this is this Ingenium engine again. Okay, we have an engine management light on there. So we'll get the diagnostics plugged in and see what's going on. Okay, I'm using the launch Eurotab 3 scan tool here. Um, we've got a code here. We'll go in and have a look. So you can see there, exhaust recirculation insufficient flow, even though it's already been replaced. Um, now, I'm seeing this problem a lot lately. Um, I've already made one video on it with, a, with an Evogue. Um, now, I used to try and clean these out, but of course, the problem keeps coming back even though look someone's put a new part in it the problem comes back so cleaning it is clearly not going to work um now there is some cases that i've seen where people say you know the filter gets blocked but listen it's all been done and the code still comes back so what's causing it so we'll go in here and i'll show you we'll have to pick out a few items here from the um live data stream so we need Exhaust, we'll find a low pressure exhaust, we'll find a D DPF differential pressure, and we'll f just out of curiosity we'll look for the soot. Okay, so we have the soot loop which is on 26%. Now for one of these vehicles that's suspiciously low, um, inferred so concentration 14.199. Okay, so the low pressure EGR pressure is 0 0.001 millibars. Particle filter pressure is zero. So straight away that's suspicious to me. Now if we hold up the vehicle to 3000 RPM, Just try and get it steady. So there we have 20 millibars. We'll hold it up sort of 3200, 3500 RPM. We've got 30 millibars, 40. So basically, if we hold it up maximum sort of 3000 RPM ish. We've got 20 millibars of pressure. Okay, so at idle, you'd expect to see that given some sort of reading, not a zero, um, sort of at least one or two millibars. And then at 3000 RPM, you'd like to see sort of 50 to 60 millibars of pressure. So the pressure is too low, which indicates that the DPF is cracked or damaged. Okay, we'll do the finger test. And again, we have lumps upon lumps of soot on my finger there. So if your DPF's working, you shouldn't get lumps of soot, you know, that you can literally scrape out with a spoon from the end of the exhaust. Um, your DPF filter is supposed to capture that, burn it into ash, and then and then you don't get any of this soot coming out of the out of your tailpipe. So the DPF system on these Euro Six, it uses the low pressure EGR pipe um, to go circulate back to the low pressure EGR valve. Now, of course, the DPF has to, has to have some sort of back pressure on it. Well, enough back pressure. To divert the gases through the low pressure EGR. When the DPF is flowing too easily because the exhaust gases are getting past the filter, you're not getting the pressure going back to the low pressure EGR and then it's triggering that code. Okay, so how do you fix the PO49B for this? On this case, um, exhaust gas recirculation error, basically, you need to replace the DPF.
So you can see even if we hold it up sort of 1200 RPM, we're not getting zero pressure. 1500 RPM, zero pressure. Zero. So we've got to get to almost like 2000 RPM before we see a reading of like 10 millibars. So that DPF is definitely broken and it needs replacing. Okay, so unfortunately, this is not a fixed video. It's just, um, I'm just doing a diagnosis here for for this customer. He wants to find out, you know, why he's replacing parts and, and it's, he's not fixing the problem. Now, what I can say to you is, if you put a new DPF and a new EGR on these, um, I think you'll be quite lucky if you get a year out of it before this problem reoccurs and you have to replace the parts again. So just bear that in mind. So that's it, that's a common issue with these Discovery Sport, Range Rover Evogue, anything with the 2.0 Ingenium engine. Um, it's just a really crap design, uh, to put it nicely, but they don't, they just don't really work. It uh, doesn't matter how many times you replace them, the problem keeps coming back. Uh, so that's it, I'll see you on the next video.